Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm finally making this video about my new tripod, the Photo Eagle 6L. And I've been using it for six months now. I want to tell you all about it, why I picked it and how I feel about this tripod. So let's get started. So first of all, you can see I am 5'9". This is a very tall tripod and that's what I really, really like. I've mostly used the uh, Peak Design tripod, the travel tripod. Love it because it's so compact and it really, really fits the bill. It's the tripod that I travel with. But, you know, most of my wildlife I do around here, around where I live. And I needed something a bit different with a gimbal head. And so far I haven't been able to find any tripod with a very compact, very simple gimbal head until I find this guy. And actually thank you to my friend Lee Hai, uh, who is an OM system ambassador too. And he told me you should check this tripod because it's really good and it's actually pretty compact and it really delivers a punch for me. So first of all, when you buy the tripod, it comes with this case, really nice case, designed perfectly to fit the tripod with the gimbal head. You can buy the gimbal head on your own, but if you do, then you won't be able to buy the tripod. It, they don't make it on its own. So if you want this combination, make sure that you're buying both at the same time. Uh, make sure you're buying this package. Otherwise, you can buy just the gimbal head if you have a tripod that you're satisfied with. But I'm going to tell you why I actually bought this as a package. Because first, I bought the gimbal head. I thought it was so clever. But <laughs> then I bite the bullet. I sold this gimbal head and I bought the package because they couldn't sell me just uh, the tripod, unfortunately. So be careful, don't make my mistake because you're gonna lose money if you do that because reselling gear, you're always gonna lose, unfortunately. So what you're getting in the bag, they actually put a lot of things. You have an extra Arca plate that's longer if you need it. You have in this little pocket uh, some tools and uh, a little manual. And then they also give you three extra little rubber feet, which is great. Just in case you lose yours, you have some extras. I've actually had zero issue. I've never lost the feet so far, so good. But I love that they're including this in the bag. It's very nice. And what I love about this gimbal head is that they provide you with a little handle and I'll show you how to mount the handle so you can use it for panning if you're doing videos. So this is really nice, very, very smooth. And I'm going to show you in a minute. So that's it. That's the bag. And you actually have quite a lot of space to add uh, more things in uh, your bag, which I do. So now let's take a look at the tripod. So that is the size of the tripod. I should probably give you a couple of specs. So out of the bag, the load capacity of this tripod is 22 pounds. So quite a lot of weight. Uh, the weight of the tripod is 9.24 pounds. So, you know, it's actually pretty light for what it is compared to other tripod. Uh, but I mean, it's not as light as uh, the Peak Design and especially with the gimbal head on it. Um, so something to consider. And the max height is 63 inches. So it's, you know, it's pretty tall. I like that it's a tripod that's going to give me some height, which I think is important in a tripod. So one thing with the feet first, you have this little rubber here and you pop it out, unlock, pop it, and then you have uh, the metal feet. So if you need more grip, then you have that, super useful. And then you put those, just popping them back on. 
very, very easy. You don't have to screw anything. It's already there. Uh, so very nice feature. Now, the coolest are the legs because those are twist locks. I usually don't like twist lock. I had some issues clipping my fingers, but those are actually really nice. What I really like about those legs is the fact that all I have to do is a quarter turn. You saw I didn't turn much and here we go. And that's it. And then just a quick twist and they're locked in place. I mean, that is really, really good because it just saves me a lot of time. And this is solid. I mean, those are not moving. And you saw basically here, here. That's all I'm doing to open uh, those twist lock. So that's very nice. And that's a five column tripod. Uh, but it's very, very strong. It's carbon fiber. That's why it's a little lighter. Uh, and uh, yes, you are paying the price for this type of tripod. So it's definitely a tripod that's a professional tripod and on the higher end. But I think you understand why the price because of all the fixtures. So first of all, great twist locks, very easy to use, saves me a lot of time. And let me open them all. Now I'm gonna put it that way so you can see it. But um, here, this is how you open those legs. Uh, if you want to put your tripod completely to the ground, you can do this. 90 degree angle. So here you have multiple locking mechanism. Uh, so here we go. So this would stay and then you have basically three positions and you can see here one, two, three. So three ways to open your uh, tripod. I am not a fan of center column. That's why I went with this tripod because it doesn't have a center column. I find that center column are very cumbersome. They're not very stable. So here not having a center column is great. And if I want to be very low uh, to the ground, I can do that, open all the legs and, uh, and then shoot really close to the ground. I don't have a center column that's going to block me which is really good. I mean, the Peak Design does have a center column, but you can actually remove it. And so it's okay. But here, yeah, no center column, no problem. Also, one of my favorite, favorite uh, feature of this tripod is this little knob here, right here. And you saw when I open it, this went down. This is because there is a level right here. And if you are not level, what do you do if you have a tripod? Most of the time you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not level. It's just a pain, right? How many of us are just playing with the legs? It's not good here. Oh, well, I'm not level. What I do is with this knob, I just open. I can level my tripod that way. This is really amazing. So you can just level your uh, camera this way without having to touch the legs. If you are on a terrain that's not straight, I just, it saves me a lot of time and it makes it way, way less cumbersome than playing with the legs to be able to level your tripod. That's why when I bought only the gimbal, I was missing this function on my tripod. And uh, that's why I went with the package and I actually bought the tripod, not just the gimbal, because the two together, they're just, yeah, they work very, very well. So highly recommend the tripod just because of this function that lets you level your tripod that way. And you can do some really macro adjustments that's going to save you a lot of time and avoid you from playing with the legs of the tripod. So big plus uh, for designing this. So still on the center column, you actually have a little hook here so you can hook thing. I don't because I feel like when you hook something, you hook your bag. If there is a little bit of wind, it's going to introduce some vibration. So personally, I never really understood why you would want to hook and hook something 
maybe if it's a stone and it's underground and you you know tie it then maybe yes but a bag I don't know I wouldn't I wouldn't do that I tried and every time it introduced some vibration so I tend not to use that so that's it for the leg for the center column now let's take a look at the gimbal first of all uh, this gimbal is really well designed because it's so small and you can pack it uh, extremely well so I can uh, unlock everything and here we go I'll show you now look at this I mean this is pretty flat this is pretty good for packing uh, and again it fits in the bag now let's take a look at this fixture I really like so there is a little knob here and let's imagine you open it and then you're thinking, oh, you know, the camera is gonna fall. Well, there is a security, really, really nice. And first, there is also a security here to fully open it. You have to press on this button and then that's how you turn. And then you can get it out, but you can see the security is here. So if for some kind of weird reason you press, you open it completely and it falls or you haven't secured it well enough, it's not going to go anywhere. Your camera is going to be secure. And then you put it back here. Here we go. Solid. Locked it. And here to lock your camera, it's the same. So it's Arca Swiss. And you have to press again on this little button right here. So you can see. Open. Close. And yes, it works pretty well. Um, another option, if you don't want to have your camera facing that way, you can also again press the button here and then what you can do is uh, put your camera that way by using your tripod uh, feet or if you have a Arca Swiss then you can put your camera directly here um, so just extra sometimes you might not even need this personally I do need this because the way I use it I use it as a gimbal head so I need to have that flexibility and when shooting video, if I want to be super stable and if I want to pan, then I will take this little handle right here. And what you do is you unscrew this here. Very, very easy. So here we go. Oops. And then you introduce this handle right here. And then you screw it back here. And that's how you get a gimbal to go up and down okay if you want to go that way pan up but you can also pan to the side and for this I'm gonna have to play with those buttons right here so listen this is great if you're doing a panel shot and you want to kind of know where you are it tells you 60 30 0 so you can just take all those photos using uh, this right here but if you don't need it if you are doing some videos you unscrew this button too and now it's super smooth see you don't hear anything it's great it works very well and then maybe I don't want to move here so I'm gonna you know keep it straight like this very very nice and there is another knob here and uh, this knob actually you see there is a little button here that you have to press and if I do that then I'm able to move this that way and then oops, move it that way as well so I can you know shoot up or here let me go back to a 45 degree angle and then here I can position my camera right uh, here as well and uh, I can also shoot down uh, this way if I have a smaller camera. You can just, you know, you have every angle. This is like, you're not limited anymore with this camera. And that's what I love. And it's very, very easy uh, to use. I mean, the key feature again, twist lock, really good. Just a quarter of a turn and here you go. You can open and close them, very nice. Uh, the fact that there is no center column, the fact that it's kind of a floating head ball where you, uh, you can do those macro adjustments to be level and that gimbal head, 
so small, so flexible. Uh, the fact that you can hear the click if you're doing a pano, the fact that if you don't want to hear the click, if you want to uh, do some filming, you have that smooth uh, gimbal now uh, with the handle for filming and the fact that you can basically twist it in any way you want and shoot in any position. That is quite impressive and also in a very small package. I mean, that's a gimbal head. How small is this? Um, yes, so I am impressed. Are you impressed? So let me know in the comment, what do you think of this tripod? Would you consider it? What is your go-to tripod? I'm very curious. I know I usually don't use a tripod. It's very rare, but when I need a tripod, I need a good tripod. That's why I have this one. Or oh, I have the Peak Design because it's so flexible. Uh, and again, I want to thank you so much for all your support. I really, truly appreciate it. It's been great, uh, you know, discussing with all of you. And uh, so don't hesitate, you know, post a comment, uh, ask any question you have. And if you are not a subscriber, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit uh, the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And uh, happy shooting and I will see you next week. Au revoir.